UCLA right now with the fourth rated class in the Pac-12, according to 247 Sports, number 17 nationally. Mark Rogers TV covering UCLA recruiting with National Signing Day. The countdown is at three days. Mike Regalado joining us as always from Gojo Bruin. So please join him there for the best in UCLA football coverage. Okay, Mike. Hi, hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. Thanks for having me back. How are you? All right, thank you. Ready to talk some uh, some uh, recruiting and getting ready for Wednesday. Ooh, yeah, it's just it's a, a holiday for us. <laughs> just a crazy time. Well, it's it's very different this year because about eighty five percent of these classes are sealed, but uh, still some really good talent out there and and some make or break decisions here. So, what do we have coming up uh, in terms of just some very recent commits? <sighs> and uh, some targets here for the next few days. The, the 2018 recruiting class was uh, was good to start, you know, in the Jim Mora era. And then they had the coach, coaching change with Chip Kelly. And a lot of people, um, you know, uh, decommitted for, you know, several reasons, not just because, you know, they decommitted and, and wanted to go elsewhere. You know, there are several reasons for, for uh, players to decommit. But, um, you know, that had uh, UCLA fans worried for a little bit. And it's like, you know, at Gojo Bruin, all, all the writers were saying, you know, just give it a chance. You know, it has to develop in a certain way. You know, Chip Kelly's trying to get the players he wants. Look, luckily, there were several players that still stayed on. Um, one of the most important, you know, key pieces, you know, dual threat quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson, who just would absolutely fit perfectly in, in Chip Kelly's system. Uh, so he's there, but uh, he was the only one that didn't sign in the early signing period. Um, other than that, you know, UCLA did have a solid uh, uh, signing class, but uh, since then, you know, they've been um, uh, slowly, you know, getting, you know, more and more guys. And, you know, uh, the criticism I hear with that is, is that, uh, oh, Chip Kelly, he's not getting, you know, four or five star recruits, uh, you know, well, he's gotten a few four, uh, four star recruits, but, um, you know, he's getting a lot of uh three-star recruits and people are like, Oh, are these are, you know, why aren't we getting, you know, the best guys? Well, you know, two reasons. One, a lot of them are already, um, uh, committed to other places. And number two, Chip Kelly's getting the, the players that he wants, you know, that that's going to best fit his system on both offense and defense. So, so there's that. So, um, in the last few, uh, uh, in the last week, you know, UCLA has gotten six uh, six commits, and that's uh, that's pretty huge. So, <laughs> UCLA is do doing you know a lot on the recruiting trail right now. You know, most recently they just got Stephen Mason, a, a junior college uh, defensive end, and um, you know I think that's the fourth defensive uh, lineman that they have. So. Um, you know, they're doing, you know, really well in that aspect, but UCLA really has to pick up certain areas, uh, most notably uh, off the offensive line and the uh, linebacker core, where right now I believe they only have uh, two offensive linemen and one linebacker, uh, or two linebackers, I believe. Still, you know, there's still work to be done, but, you know, Chip Kelly and his uh, coaching staff, you know, they're, they're doing it right now, and it should be an interesting uh, stretch into uh, National Signing Day on Wednesday. The rankings mean a lot. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, you can parallel the rankings and the recruiting versus the national polls year in, year out. You can look at who's typically contending for a national championship and they're getting top five recruiting classes. I don't think there's in volume, there's no question. But I ran across some numbers and, and uh, recorded those uh, a few days ago. And, you know, we get so caught up in the five stars and the four stars because they're at the very top of the list. But Man, even the really good college football teams, the teams comp contending for conference championships, they're built on three-star rosters. The bulk of the roster is three stars. There's only so many four stars out there. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about five stars, there's like 30 in the nation. So there's not many of those guys walking around. And then even the four stars, there's there's a few hundred. So the three stars, you build your roster with three star athletes and we could go through the best players in college football over the last five years. And a ton of them would be three star athletes. So people can't uh, get totally crazy about the star system. It means yeah. something overall, but in terms of particular players, you can find a ton of impact players that are going to be tremendous players at any school as three stars. 